In this sequence of lessons, we are going to learn how to run Azure function using IntelliJ IDEA. For that, we have one prerequisite, which is Azure account. Ideally, you should have one Azure account to proceed with this lesson. In case you don't have it, in Google, you can search for create an Azure account. If you search, you would get results from Azure website, which is azure.microsoft.com. And there would be documentations like create your free account today. Or if I scroll down, create your Azure free account or pay as you go. If you click on this link, it would navigate to the registration page. You can try this option, try Azure for free, or you can select this pay as you go model. If I click here, then it would take me to the page where I have to start the registration process. In case you have an account, you can directly sign in. Otherwise, you have to create one account and then perform the sign in. And once you sign in, you would be redirected to the Azure sign up page. In the Azure sign up, you have to provide your first name, last name, phone number. And while you provide your phone number, there would be a process by which it would validate your phone number. Once you fill in all the details and click on next, there would be a section where you have to check the terms and condition and click on next. In the next page, you have to fill the credit card or debit card details for identity verification where you would be charged rupees 2 INR for verification. In case of US, the amount would be different, but whatever amount that is deducted from your account would be returned back as well within 24 hours. Once you provide all the details, a sign up button would appear where you need to click in. And if you perform sign up, you are done with creating the account. Next, you have to go to the Azure portal, which is portal.azure.com and perform the activities that are required. Now, going back to the original discussion, what we were having, once we have our prerequisite, that is the Azure account, in our local system, we would have IntelliJ IDEA and using IntelliJ IDEA, we would install one Azure related plugin and create a Java based Azure project and run that in our system. Once we run it successfully, then we would perform debugging of this Azure function locally. Once we are done with running and debugging this project locally, we are going to deploy this project to Azure from our local system using IntelliJ IDEA. I hope this lesson would be useful. In case you find this lesson interesting, I would suggest you to go through the description page of this particular lesson. There, I would be adding a link which contains all my free and paid courses. You can have a look and in case you find them interesting, you can subscribe or contact with me if you need any discount coupons. That's all. Let's get started. In order to work with Azure Functions from IntelliJ IDEA, there are few prerequisites. First is, we need to have Azure Functions Code Tools installed in our system. First, we will go for Azure Functions Code Tools and we would install that via Node.js and also we need .NET SDK installed. So first, I'll install .NET SDK. As of today, if we have .NET SDK 8, that is sufficient. Let me go to Google. Search for install.NET SDK 8, clicking on the link available. So here we have the link for downloading .NET 8.0. If I scroll down, here we have Windows related options, selecting x64. Download has started. Download completed. Going to the folder. Let's start the installation. Double click on this. Click install. This installation may take a while. Once it is completed, I'll resume the recording. Clicking on close. Now we have .NET installed. We need to install Node.js as well. Searching for install Node.js, clicking on the first link available in the search result. So here it is showing the version for long-term support and OS is selected as Windows, which is fine for me. Scrolling down, clicking on this link, Windows installer .msi. Opening the folder. This is the .msi file, double clicking on it. Click next, accept the license agreement, click on next, next again, next, next again, click on install. Now Node.js setup is also complete, clicking on finish. I'm going to open the command prompt. Let me open the command prompt over here. Let me check the Node.js version, whether it got installed properly or not, node hyphen V. It is showing the version, so it seems Node.js is installed properly. 
I'm going to execute this following command to install Azure Functions code tool. Here if you notice this hyphen G, it means the global installation and the last option double dash unsafe firm as true. It helps us in avoiding the permission related issues. The overall command is install hyphen G Azure function code tools and red four means version four and then the parameter unsafe perm for permission as true. Pressing enter. This installation would take a while. Once it is complete, I'll resume the recording. Installation is complete. In order to create and locally run and debug a sample Azure function project, we need to install Azure plugin in IntelliJ IDEA. After we are done with .NET and Azure Core Tools installation in IntelliJ IDEA, we need to go to the plugin section and under marketplace, we can search with Azure. And there we need to select this Azure toolkit for IntelliJ which is from Microsoft, click on install. Once it is installed, we need to restart the ID. Let me do that. Once the restart is complete, I'll resume the recording. Click on restart. After ID restart, we can click on new project. Now here in new project section, after the Azure plugin installation, you can see under generators, we have this Azure functions. Click on that and here just below project SDK, there are multiple types of function triggers are displayed. By default, I see this HTTP trigger is selected. We are going to use this one. And for project SDK, in my case, it has detected JDK 17, which is there in my system. In your case, you can use your JDK or in case if it is not showing, you can point to your JDK that is installed in your system. Let me click on next to proceed with Azure functions. Here it is showing the tool as Maven. We have the other option Gradle as well. Group, artifact ID, version, package name. I'm just keeping as is. Click on next. Project name, it is showing over here as your function examples. As I have provided the project location earlier, that's why it is taking this particular location and then appending the project name. This is fine. Under more settings, we have the module name, content root, module file location, project format, keeping them as is. Click on create. Now the project is getting created, maximizing this. Now the project is loaded and just below this project section, we have this icon for Azure Explorer. If I click on this, currently I'm not logged into Azure. That's why it's not showing all the resources. But when I log in, multiple sections would be shown. I'm going back to the project. Here under source, if I expand, I have this single file generated, which is called HTTP trigger. Let me maximize this. Now, this is an Azure function with HTTP trigger. We have the required annotation for function name and its name is HTTP trigger. It allows methods HTTP get and post authentication level is function. If I scroll towards right, it is taking a request and context. Here we have a log message, Java HTTP trigger processed a request. It is trying to retrieve one parameter called name. And then if name is null, we are sending back one response if it is not null then we are sending the response like hello plus then the name provided so that is how the source code is it is pretty simple now with the help of the plugin if i want to run this particular function locally you can see this particular icon available over here if i click on top of it it provides me the option to run to debug and also modify run configuration let me try to run this locally first, then we will debug this one. Clicking on the first option, we can see on the left hand side, the target folder is generated, meaning the build is already done. Let me scroll up a bit in the message section. You can see it is mentioning Azure Functions code tools, which is very important to run this function locally. If I scroll down, it is showing the local URL to access this particular function. Let me right click on top of this, open in a browser, is providing a response and it is telling please pass a name on the query string let me do that just passing the name as a local run and it's responding back which is fine now another thing i just want to show you if i go to the pom.xml just to go through the dependencies that are used over here let me maximize this so under dependencies this is the main thing which we are using which is azure functions java library and the rest is for testing purpose JUnit, Jupyter, Mockito and all. Now, 
coming back to the core thing we have run this successfully from the browser we are getting the response as well how to debug this let me stop this go back to this java file click on this click on debug now the application is running in debug mode let me scroll down a bit and place a breakpoint over here going back to the browser let me pass a different parameter i'm just passing local debug as name pressing enter now i can see the breakpoint is hit so like any normal program we can navigate through the code in the debug mode let me step over and now if i just have a look at this name variable this is the one name equal to local debug so we are able to debug it locally using intellij idea if i just resume the program the response would go back to the browser if i go to my browser it is showing hello local debug so the request is processed successfully by the azure function which we are debugging locally using intellij idea now let me terminate the program by clicking on stop here i see there are two options let me click on stop all one is stop azure functions and another is stop run functions clicking on stop all now the entire process is terminated once we have run and debug the project locally we are going to deploy it to azure cloud for that as a first step i need to sign into azure so if i go to azure explorer over here i have this sign in icon let me click on this there are multiple options like azure cli oauth 2.0 device logging service principle i am going to use the one which is selected click on sign in it's displaying one message authentication complete you can close the browser and return to the application going back to intellij idea this is my subscription i'm selecting this click on select so if i expand currently the resource groups that i have it is showing if i expand azure this subscription it is showing all the different services available now going back to the project view here i have the specific section called azure here if i expand this azure section we have the option deploy to azure deploy current module to azure computing services let me click over here you can see there are three options now this might change later on in future but as of now early 2025 these are the options which are available deploy to azure functions deploy to azure spring apps and deploy to azure web apps i'm selecting the first one here it is providing the name this is a module i don't have any function i have to create one let me create now it is providing me a default name and a platform if i click on this drop down there are other options also i'm keeping it as is let me change the name this needs to be unique clicking ok clicking on apply if you want before launch there are certain other activities we can perform for this lesson i'm skipping that click on run it is performing the build initially and then it is going to deploy you can see it has started creating the resource group in a specific region which is central us the resource group is created it is also creating a storage account on the right hand side we can see the notification this resource group is successfully created storage account successfully created It has started creating the function app with the name that I have provided as your demo app 2025. Function app is successfully created. On the left hand side, under deployment targets, I can see this as your demo app 2025. It's in running state, it is showing, and at the bottom, it is displaying starting deployment. It's trying to deploy the artifact to Azure Demo App 2025. Now, finally, it has successfully deployed the artifact to this particular url deployment succeeded now here what we can do we can go to azure explorer minimizing everything refreshing this and if i scroll down under function app i can see my azure function i can expand this select this one right click and click this trigger function in browser now it's invoking the azure function url what i can do i can append the name parameter over here adding one ampersand pressing enter now it's returning hello azure over here based on the parameter that i have passed now our azure function is deployed from our local system using intellij 
and it is functioning as expected. In the meantime, what I can do, I can go to Azure portal. In your case, if you get app services, you can click on it directly. Let me click or you can type app services over here. Let me show that as well. Select the app services. So here I can see the Azure demo app 2025, which is already created. If I click on this, this is the demo app. And if I scroll down, this is the Azure function. Clicking on this here, we can get further details. I can click on this get function URL. Let me copy any one of them. The first one, open a new tab, hit this URL. So it is working as expected. Now going back to the portal, unless we need it, we can delete the resources. I'm going to home and clicking on resource groups. You can notice one thing over here. This is the resource group which was created when we deployed our Azure function. If I go back to IntelliJ IDEA, if I check the log at the very beginning, it started creating this particular resource group. If I go back to Azure portal and click on this particular resource group, under this resource group, we have all the resources available which are which are related to this Azure function which is deployed, starting from storage account, app service plan, application insights, function app. So if I want to get rid of everything, we can just delete this resource group entirely. Another option is there. We can go back to IntelliJ IDEA and select this particular function app, right click and delete. That is also one option, but it won't delete everything as per my understanding. So just to be on the safer side, go here, delete the resource group, and to enter the resource group name for deletion, copying this, pasting it, click on delete, delete again. Now the resource group is getting deleted. Let's wait for a while for its deletion. Once it is done, I'll resume the recording. Now we can see the message here. The entire resource group is deleted. So everything we created in Azure Cloud related to the Azure function is now gone. So to summarize, we created the Azure function app locally. From our IntelliJ IDEA, we ran it and debugged it in our local system. Finally, we deployed it to the Azure Cloud. And once our job is done, we have deleted all the associated resources from the Azure Cloud from Azure Portal.